That's how they stand at the door every morning. Wow. And she waits for me. So is Daisy, but she goes a little bit ahead. You can go potty. She said, where you want to go? You can go potty. And off they go. Hey guys, so today I have an appointment for laser hair removal. I'm about to check my calendar now what time it is. It's at 1.30. I don't know why I thought it was at 3. So I need to hurry up and get ready. Um, but I have laser hair removal today for my armpits and also my bikini area. I absolutely hate, like my bikini area even when I wax it and stuff I just like get the worst ingrown hairs it just makes no sense so my trainer has literally been kicking my ass honestly you guys I don't feel like I've been this sore from working out for 30 minutes like in a really long time 30 minutes is it feels like nothing but I guess incorporating hit and all that is just I need to leave here by 12.30 and it's 10.41 now so I have time to make breakfast and everything so that's what I'm gonna do. Enjoy my morning. I tried filming last night but it just didn't work out like I thought it would. So what I plan on doing is getting ready here, you know, like just taking a shower, not doing my makeup and then coming back after we're done filming a video because we're gonna shoot later tonight because the place that we've been shooting is actually really nice and it's a place where I grew up actually. I don't know. It just it's hard to find new spots I guess you could say when you want to shoot as much as we do. Also what do you guys think about the new camera? I am filming with a new camera right now. Let me know what you think. Do you prefer this or the last video's quality? Just let me know what you think. Let me know because I can't decide. Then again I haven't looked at this on computer yet, but it's supposed to be like the fastest focusing, which is good because my uh, Canon G7X is actually slacking on focusing. Also, if you don't follow me on Snapchat, I got two letters from Davis yesterday, which I was really excited about. They're a little bit more short sweet, which I can understand because he's super busy, but like they're on little note cards and I was thinking, I was like, when did we pack note cards? Yeah, I got two yesterday. I was really happy about it. Actually, next weekend is when he has pass, Oh, I think I'm shaking a lot. Let me let me fix this real quick. Let me put you guys on a tripod. Next week is actually Davis's eight hour pass. Don't know which day yet because we're just gonna have to wait and see. He has a pass next week for eight hours and I am so excited. So that's the next thing to look forward to. Otherwise this weekend I'll be working on taxes because <laughs> your girl's got a lot of filling out things to do. So that's what I'm gonna be doing all weekend. I'm gonna have a beer and I'm gonna fill out taxes and be a grown up. Okay guys, I just made it. I'm a few minutes before my appointment. Um, but I come to Dr. Cavalli here in Atlanta. She does my lips too. So I really like this office. They're super, super nice. The reason why I'm getting laser first off in the first place and getting two places at once is because back in November they had, or was it like November, December? Like back in December and November they had a sale going or like a special where it was like buy one, get one free. So I bought one and I got one free. I think I got my underarms for free. That's why I decided to get two at once. Uh, it's a good deal, I feel like. I mean, considering the prices. So it looks like. Okay, so I just got done my appointment. I was gonna vlog and then I just decided not to. I don't know, I just decided not to. I decided to go ahead and see what it was like first and then next time I'll probably vlog for you guys. And we didn't do my underarms because I did get a little bit of self-tanner on them and you're not supposed to have any self-tanner or anything, so my fault. I did get my bikini done and Oh my gosh, it does feel exactly like everybody says, like a rubber band popping you. And once you do it, it's like, hell yeah, let me come back like next week and get more done, you know what I mean? Um, I'm really excited to see the results. I'm gonna let you guys know what I think, you know, after all my sessions are done. I have my next appointment already booked and I'm excited to come back and keep doing this. It was a little painful at some points. Like even if you've ever had a Brazilian, you know, at the top of your JJ is the most painful part down below is not that painful it's mostly the top that was definitely the most painful part is when we lasered some of the top as long as it works it'll be worth it <laughs> so now I'm gonna head home it's 155 now it only it took me less than 30 minutes for my appointment so yeah next time we're gonna try numbing cream on my armpits because you can come in a little bit earlier and get like numbing cream so I'm gonna try that and see how that works hey so I'm actually about to go edit my Instagram video but this is what I'm wearing for my shoot today Oops, this is coming up um, this is actually a bralette from Victoria's Secret and I really like them but I have it underneath the top to kind of add some more strappiness to all of it and I'm actually gonna have 
all of my stuff linked on my Instagram. So the Instagram will be up by the time you guys see this video. So definitely go check that out if you want to know where everything is from. But I'm in like such a rush right now. I'm grabbing a water, a protein bar. I'm going to sit down, edit my Instagram video for just a few minutes, and then I'm going to head off. And we're going to have a shoot. So that's what's going on. It's kind of busy. I really like the way my hair turned out. I just only curled like the very top layer. I didn't really curl anything else because I just don't like to. I'm like so lazy with my hair lately. Hey guys, so don't mind this brow. This brow is so like being a bitch lately and usually this is my good brow um, but right now I'm about to go drop some boxes off and some clothes to consignment I just have a bunch of errands to run I need to go pick up a comforter that's been at the laundry or the cleaners for such a long time so I need to go pick that up I might run by Bath and Body Works and Lizard Thicket I'm not sure it's like Lizard Thicket or Ticket I don't know how they say it Davis knows how to say it but I don't and yeah, I just have a bunch of boxes to drop off and then I'm gonna come back here, work on the house, work on the video I just filmed. So we're gonna get a move on because we're not trying to get here too late, are we? <laughs> this brow is so thick today. She's thick. Just got done taking some stuff to the dump and I've had to break everything down, which I can, I know, but there was a guy over there that worked at the dump that was helping me out a lot. He was so nice because some of the boxes had like a lot of tape on the bottom of them. And like obviously I couldn't get to them, I didn't bring a knife. So he helped me break some of them down, which was so nice of him. He did not have to do that. And uh, yeah, it was just like a good experience. Like I always get nervous when I go to the dump that I'm gonna get yelled at because sometimes people like get really angry if you do something wrong. But that was a really good experience. But now I'm on my way to drop these off at the consignment shop, pick up my laundry or my comforter, and then I'm gonna head back this way and I might go to TJ Maxx and stuff to see in like Hobby Lobby to see if I can find a table for my coffee bar that I want to like have set up so we'll see I'm not like pressuring it you know what I mean like if I don't find something I don't find something but it's good to kind of see in TJ Maxx if they have anything on sale okay so I just got done at Target I was gonna vlog but there was like so many kids running around I was like no <laughs> not today uh, but I bought some stuff at Target that I didn't intend on buying I went to go get like this silicone heart thing so I could make Davis's cookies like in a heart this person is close as to the back of my Jeep. Anyways, so I went to Target and I got a few things actually for Davis's letters because I was at the dollar spot and I saw like a bunch of cute things that would be really great for like the um, open win letters that I want to do and especially one for Valentine's Day. I'm gonna show you guys everything I got when I get home. I also went to Bath and Body Works. They were having their semi-annual sale, which was great. I only got one candle that wasn't on sale, so that was kind of pricey, but it smells so good, and I just only bought one because I really love uh, gardenias. I think gardenias smell amazing, and that's what that candle is. But I used up the gift card. Davis's grandma and granddad gave me. If they are watching, thank you guys. It came in great handy. Got some good stuff, which I'll show you guys later as well. These pups are super excited to see what mommy got, huh? You excited to see what mama got? Y'all are so nosy. Okay, so I have you guys sitting on a hairspray bottle right now because I can't find my tripod anywhere. So I'm gonna show you guys quickly what I got. Are you gonna help me? So first from Staples, I got the label maker. This was on sale for, I know, I know. $29, I believe it was $39. And yeah, I just got a label maker. Has some cool like personalization stuff on there and just different things like that. So I got that. Daisy, hold on. I also found this Cool Cables 10 foot fabric braided charger and it's for the iPhone 7. 10 feet. They like it. Then I also got some, y'all are so nosy, some extra tape as well for the uh, label maker and then from oh I also got this because I thought this would be great to put on this little section over here to organize and have all my papers in here but not like have to put them up all the way so um, this way you can just sit on the what do you call it it'll sit on the storage bins I have over there and I can set stuff on top of it but I can still put things in here and still pull it out like bills and stuff like that that need to be paid I went to GNC and I got two protein cookies because this is like all they had I got the peanut butter one it is so good and then I got another chocolate chip cookie one I just wanted a couple extra protein cookies no 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 not for you and then 
When I went to Bath and Body Works, I got a few things. This candle was not on sale. This is the one I was telling you guys about, but I really love it because it smells so good. It's the White Gardenia. Oh, man. Oh, it's strong. <laughs> the dogs are like, damn. But the packaging is so cute for some of their new stuff. That's what it looks like right there. See, this is why I got the Sony because this one never focused as well. So I got that one. Then these were on sale. I got the smoked vanilla that smells amazing. It says salted chestnut, cherry bourbon, roasted pistachio, and sweet cream. Then I got bergamot waters. This one was on sale too in this like marble packaging. I think I talked about this forever ago. And then this is another version of that, that marble kind of look. This is fresh cut lilacs. <sighs> I love smells like this. That's what that one looks like. Very, very pretty. Still has that marble look, but it has a lid with it, which I like. I like to have the lids on my candles. Oh, and then of course leave it to me to get some Christmas decor in January. I saw these and they were 50% off and I thought they would be perfect for like next year and you know the years after that in my living room because it goes with my theme. So it just has Santa Claus, all the presents, and a tree. You guys know I do the red and green theme. So I bought two because I don't know where we're going to be living next year. I don't know if I'm going to be here. I don't know if we're going to be in New York. But, uh, bros, the honey. Yeah, they were $6.25, originally $12.50, so I had to snag them up. I got another smoked vanilla, and then I got wallflowers. And the girl told me at checkout that, I think it's Hello, it's either Hello Beautiful or the Bergamot Waters. One of these doesn't smell as strong, and she said that if I find that that's happening, I can bring it back. So we'll see which ones work and which ones don't. So as you guys saw when I first showed, like was showing dogs with the stuff, I got this. This is a 19 pocket expandable file box. Thought this would be great for this year to really keep myself organized. It will just be easier for me to keep track of my receipts this way. Right now I just throw them into a box and I don't really organize them. But this way, I thought, first off, I thought it was so cute. So it makes me want to organize. But um, this way I thought I could have like January, February, March, you know, things like that, and then some extra stuff back here. And this is another reason why I got the labels, so I can label them. Target, I got a few different things. Like I said, I'm doing like these open win letters, or open win, yeah, open win letters, and they had a ton of stuff at the dollar section at Target, so I got quite a bit of stuff just to have options for my letters. So I got this felt stickers 15 pack. These are like little emojis. And then I also got these foam stickers that are like the hearts that are XOXO and all that kind of stuff. Oh my god, I love this. I got this stamp and it says, isn't it so cute? It says, you make my heart sore. And this was a dollar too. And that's what it looks like. Isn't that adorable? Oh, it's not focusing. There it is, that's what it looks like. I got a lot, a wide rolled notebook um, just to kind of have some options if I wanted to wide rule because college is great and all but like i have really big handwriting isn't this cute look at it it's a sticker as many sticker banners and they just look like that and they have stickies on each end so i thought this for a letter would be really cute um i just really like that a lot my battery's dying i better hurry and then i got this valentine's card kit and it says it makes three but it has a bunch of different stickers as well and like note cards and things like that i thought it'd be really cute i saw these these are like little animal mini cards with stickers and one of them says i wolf you and that's kind of like what sold me on it and this is three dollars then i got this in the dollar section as well it's just 200 stickers <laughs> 200 stickers of like loving stuff. I'm mean, gonna look like such a kid sending these, but you know, whatever. And then I got some markers. I got the regular colors, like the classic colors, and then the bright colors. Then I got the pink stamp to go with the stamp. So that's what I got. I don't think I'll need anything else for his letters. I think we've pretty much got everything set. All right, guys, I've been working on some stuff. It's been a while since I've updated you. <laughs> I just decided to pull all the markers out, <laughs> all these little emojis. I've been working on my letters. Oh, by the way, this stamp pad is terrible from Target. And that dollar section, you guys, it is just... Here's some of my letters. I'm not done yet. I still have a few I want to do. Of course, I have to like Thursday to do some. I've just created most of the envelopes for these, but I have, like, this one has a letter in it. A couple of them do. But I have open when it's Valentine's Day, open when you miss me, when you need to pick me up. This one's super thick. 
Um, open when you want to know what I love about you. Open when you miss the pups. Open for a memory. And this was cute. It has like a little letter, like this sticker. I loved that. So, open for a memory. Open for a prayer. I need to decorate this one a little bit more. I need more hearts on this one. This one's open when you need motivation. And I'm going to put together a couple more. I need to print off some pictures to put in here as well. And just cute things like that. But so far I'm liking the way they look. Of course, these are the only envelopes I had. So they're huge. I'm liking the way they're turning out so far. So far the pups ones is my favorite. Like how cute is the paw prints. I mean honestly. So put my stickers on here. My labels. So I put tax receipts. 2017 on here and I'm gonna put some more stuff in here other than tax receipts but for right now that's what I have and then you just open it and I have them all labeled doesn't it look so pretty <laughs> I don't know just an organizing kind of mood this year is the year I need to organize anyways but I started January in the back because I like to start in the back of folders I hate opening folders from here in the beginning so I, that might be weird but I like opening from the back I'll probably put a couple other tabs on here but that is the cutest thing I've ever seen, honestly. I've just been working on these letters, having some fun, watching Gilmore Girls. Right now, I'm watching Gilmore Girls. I'm going to print off some pictures. I might run to Walgreens and print some off from my phone. I might just send them in, even though the ones I sent in were terrible quality. I thought I had some printer paper around here, but I don't think I have enough ink. Okay guys, so it is now 12.30. I just got done writing my letters and stuff and I went to Walgreens and I actually went and got like a bunch of pictures printed off so I could put in these letters and stuff. But I've got eight of them so far in here and I'm excited to give them to them. I'm gonna write maybe one or two more. Um, but they're kind of thick so I don't want them to take up too much room, you know? But I'm really excited to give them to him. I'm excited to see him for his pass this weekend, or this coming up week. It's gonna be a busy week, so I think it's gonna fly by. Yeah, I just cleaned up everything and um, kind of put some stuff away. I'll put more up tomorrow, but I got like my little area cleaned up and stuff. I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. Leaving you a catch around of the bars. Picture for the ones that are lost